Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father, from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus, dear friends in Christ, that this notice appeared sometime back in a newspaper. To those of you who bought our book, Skydiving Made Easy, please enter the following correction on page 12, paragraph 3, line 2. The words state zip code should say pull rip cord. <laughs> we regret any inconvenience this mistake may have caused you. <laughs> I'm sure there was some inconvenience for people. You know that husbands have a difficult time with doing laundry. And a husband who was not used to doing housework of any kind decided to wash his dirty sweatshirt. After stepping into the laundry room, he shouted to his wife for help. What setting do I use on the washing machine, he asked. It depends, she said. What does it say on your shirt? He yelled back, University of Minnesota. <laughs> well, we're not all like that, but I suppose there are some out there like that. How many times have you heard the expression, what we have here is a failure to communicate? That happens so often. Pastors spend hours upon hours trying to find ways to communicate God's good word to congregations. And sometimes we look out, and by the way, I can see everybody. I can see out into the narthex. If you leave, I know where you're going. <laughs> just saying, just so you're aware. I can see sometimes when, when folks are not tracking with me, and, they're, and I've realized that I've had a failure to communicate. You see, that's what God wanted to do. God wanted to communicate to the world what he was doing. He wanted the world to understand what it was all about after the fall into sin. The writer of Hebrews, our text for this morning, says, long ago at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. In Jesus, you see, we find God's perfect revelation. This is the overarching message of the whole New Testament. The writer of Hebrews puts it this way. Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. In other words, everything we need to know about God, we find in Jesus. That's what God wants us to know. In fact, God tells us that we are the very reason for everything he does. What humanity doesn't get is just how much God loves us. We can't quite get th that through our hearts and our minds. And yet, that's what God wants us to know. If you're familiar with the drama, A Man for All Seasons, Sir Thomas More is the main character. He's an advisor to King Henry VIII who must choose between his religious beliefs and his loyalty to the king. Sir Thomas More chooses his faith over his royal position. He faces his execution with courage and calmness. A Man for All Seasons is narrated by a character called Common Man. Common Man represents all of us who don't have the courage of our convictions. Common man never makes waves. 
Common man chooses apathy and silence over sacrifice. There is nothing that he would die for. Common man's last words after the execution of Sir Thomas More are, you know, it is not hard to stay alive. Just don't make trouble. Wow. Jesus could have avoided Calvary's cross. All he had to do was not make trouble. But he chose a different way. The writer of Hebrews indicates that it was the only way that the great divide between God and man could be bridged, that Christ lay down his life for you and me. And yet, we still have questions, don't we? These are the questions we ask about the agonies and sorrows of life. The big question that we have all asked at one time or another in our lives, why me? Or why did it happen to so-and-so? Where is God that he would let this happen? I know the tragedies of my life. You know the tragedies of yours. How do we make any sense out of a suffering world? How do we make sense out of those who go through such suffering? Loved ones die suddenly and unexpectedly, years before their time. Why? All week in the news on TV, people have been asking the why of Kobe Bryant's death, and the death of his 13-year-old daughter, not to mention the others who were in the helicopter with them. Why? Doesn't make sense. Or people die slowly and agonizingly. The disease they suffer is so cruel that it seems they are purposely being tormented. Why? People suffer handicaps or afflictions of body or spirit which do not kill, but they suffer all their lives. Why? Like Paul the Apostle, they live with a thorn in the flesh, and though they pray for release from their pain, it does not come. Why? Families break up, love lost now hurts and leaves a hole. People hurt the ones they love and feel more miserable for doing it, why? Here and in the larger world, people are brutalized by every manner of evil under the sun. Why? And just as an aside, there's a TV program on CBS that I've asked why. It's entitled Evil. And I I've not seen it, so I'm, I'm making a judgment. I don't care to see it. And I know there's a spiritual dimension to it, at least from the commercials. But I wonder, why? Why do we have to have things like that? And, you know, we could go off as you throw out the ones you wonder why we have as well. But why? Can anyone explain it? We want answers to the questions we have. And we want those answers now, don't we? What we have here is a failure to communicate. Because you see, communication is twofold. It is giving out and it's receiving in. It's giving out and receiving in. Pollster Sidney Harris once said something interesting. He said, the two words, information and communication, are often used interchangeably, but they signify quite different things. Information is giving out. Communication is getting through. What I seek to do on a Sunday morning 
is to get through. I'm giving out all kinds of stuff, but I want to get through. I want you to understand that though you are a sinner, God loves you. He cares about you. No matter what you're going through, and maybe that is the problem in our society. We live in the information age, but not the communication age. There's a lot of giving out, but very little getting through. But know this, my friends. Our God was determined to get through to us. And he did. He sent us Jesus. Amen. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds through faith in Christ Jesus.